I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Brief and Weather Forecasts. Speaking of the weather, the Cayman Islands Weather Service is advising the public that the Sahara Desert Plume, now stretching across the Caribbean, will move across the Cayman area uh, over the next 24 hours. They also encourage residents uh, with any respiratory issues to exercise caution. Here's Chief Medical Officer Dr. John Lee with details from a public health perspective. The atmosphere is dusty at the moment, so please take care if you have asthma or any other chronic lung conditions. Refrain from going outside, particularly to take exercise. And if you have to go outside, please wear a mask, preferably a medical mask, and if not, a handkerchief or cloth to protect the nose and mouth. Dust can also cause irritation to the eyes. If you have any medical symptoms, please do seek medical advice. Although the risk is low, if there is any volcanic ash within the dust, this can have a similar effect to irritate the airways, nose and eyes. The most important thing to remember is that the risk to our health is very low. Again, the public health department is advising the public that over the next 24 hours, these conditions could increase symptoms in persons with asthma and other respiratory illnesses due to the elevated dust and part part particulate uh, matter concentrations. Those persons, again, are advised to uh, stay inside as much as possible or wear masks if they go outside. Now, for additional weather information, you can go online to weather.gov.ky for any health concerns you're encouraged to call your doctor or the public health department at 244-2648. The National Roads Authority and its subcontractor will undertake paving works on a section of Shamrock Road between the Spots Dock and Flow Building. That's the old cable and wireless exchange just past Spots Newlands Road. Uh, it started today, the 19th of April, and it will continue through to the 27th of April between 9 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. Now, motorists are being asked to plan ahead and watch out for traffic diversions. There will be some delays as traffic will be stopped and go during times. Now, members of the public can email nra at nra.ky with questions or comments regarding this project. For any urgent concerns, you're asked to please call 946-7780 or 525-1251. The Queen Elizabeth II Botanic Park and Bliss Yoga are collaborating on a series of yoga classes inside the beautiful grounds of the park. As an extension of Earth Day celebrations this week, the classes are being held each Sunday during the month. Classes can be reserved by donation only and all ages and levels of experience are welcome to attend. There's no minimum donation, of course, and all proceeds will benefit the continued development of the beautiful children's garden at the Botanic Park. Now, the next yoga class is scheduled for this Sunday, the 25th of April, and according to park manager, Mr. John Laris, uh, classes may continue based on interest from the public after this month. All donations can be made at the park on the day of class. To sign up, you can call Bliss at 949-9642 or email info at blissyoga.com. Turning to our forecast, the high temperature reached 88 degrees today, the low 74. We can expect partly cloudy skies with a 20% chance of showers. Winds are from the southeast at 10 to 15 knots with higher gusts. Now seas are moderate with wave heights of 3 to 5 feet. The synopsis calls for moderate winds and seas which are expected across the Cayman Islands area over the next 24 hours as a high ridge of pressure uh, continues to dominate the northern Caribbean. Radar images show isolated showers that are in and around the Cayman Islands area moving towards the northwest. Remember, you can find the latest on local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky or you can simply download their app, CINWS. And that's it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush inviting you to join us back here again tomorrow. Until then, have a safe and wonderful night.